Hey everybody, Substatica here. Welcome back to Warplanes Air Corps for MetaQuest Standalone. In this video, we're going to be continuing helicopter training missions. Before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video or the game. And if you've played, leave your tips and tricks in the comments as well. Okay. This is our little helicopter. We've got a lot more training missions to complete. Okay. Air to air missiles. That's interesting. I thought we did that already. Oh, we used a cannon. All right. Mount the specified weapon on your aircraft. Follow the highlights. Air to ground and cannon. So we want air to air. All right, start. In this training session, we will practice use of air-to-air -air missiles. This is the most effective weapon for engaging hostile airborne targets. Switch to the appropriate weapon system. Press the B button on your controller or the button in the cockpit. Uh, B? Weapon system ready. Air-to-air -air missile online. Approach the target and try to keep it within the targeting circle. Automatic targeting system will track it on its own. Don't shoot and wait for my command. Target locked. Find the target and keep it within the circle to lock on. Note that hostile aircraft may deploy countermeasure flares when you have lock on on it. Wait for the right moment to strike. The enemy is most vulnerable right after launching flares or when its flares are depleted. Launch the missile now. Target going down. Helicopter down. Sweet. Your machine is equipped with an automatic missile defense system. If you're looking for a challenge, you can fire countermeasure flares yourself. Watch your head-up display for missile lock warning. Before we practice this, turn off the automatic flare release system. Press the blinking button in the cockpit. Press the blinking button in the cockpit. Automatic flares disabled. Now launch the flares. Press the A button. Flares launched. Time for the real threat. Get ready for missile alert warning on your heads-up display. Why am I not climbing? Okay, don't have a missile alert yet. Do I have a waypoint? Missile alert. Press the A button. Flares launched. Good job, pilot. Maximize your safety with the automatic missile defense system. You can turn it back on again before facing the rest of the enemies. Now engage all targets to practice what we have learned. Target locked. Chopper going down. Nice. Okay. Are there more? Let's turn the auto flares back on. Automatic flares enabled. Air to air missile tutorial completed. Good oh, job. That was easy. Okay. What's next? I was trying to use the in game stick for the collective. Still getting used to it. So you need to know the spot where you're going to hover. Air to ground rockets. Mount the specified weapon on your aircraft. Follow the highlights. Air to ground rocket with high explosives. Ah, okay. So this is for structures. Time to learn how to obliterate ground targets with air-to-ground rockets. Switch to the appropriate weapon system. Press the B button on your controller or the blinking button in the cockpit. Weapon system ready. Those air-to-ground rockets are not equipped with automatic guidance system. You have to set the flight path to the target. When you have a clear shot, release the rocket. Now destroy ground targets. Any ground targets? Destroy all targets with air-to-ground rockets. 
Oh, okay. There's like trucks and buildings. Oil jack destroyed. Sweet. Oil jack destroyed. Am I doing all these? Okay, we're getting too high. Let's, uh... Turn around. Target locked. I thought there was a truck. Just burning through these. Okay. Uh, five of 13. Radar and anti-aircraft defenses. Mount a specified weapon on your aircraft. Follow the highlights. Okay. Going air to ground. Start. Avoiding detection by air defense systems is a key skill on the battlefield. Destroying radars reduces the efficiency of anti-aircraft defenses. For the purposes of this tutorial, you have no flares. Follow my instructions precisely because you are vulnerable to the attacks. Look at the left screen in the cockpit. The range of air defense is marked with circles. Avoid them if possible. Now look at the right side and the altitude indicator. Keep the height of your machine on the green section of the indicator. The onboard AI will emit a warning sound when crossing the detection height. At this point, you become visible to enemy anti-aircraft defenses. Anti-tank missile online. Now you need to get to the other side of the map while remaining undetected. Follow the red marker. Okay. I don't really know what altitude I'm supposed to stay at, but it seems okay. Fly through the next marker. Okay, altitude is pretty stable. Too high. Let's get a bit lower. Oh, that's a bit too low. Man, we're going fast and low, a bit higher. Okay, let's try to flatten out here. All right. Warning, a radar arrived on the map. Note that it increased the range of air defense and cut off your way back. Destroy the radar. Destroy the radar. Whoa, we're going sideways. I don't quite see the radar. I need to get a bit Destroy higher. The radar. I'm working on it. Target locked. Ground target neutralized. Sweet. Well done. Note that the range of anti-aircraft defense has decreased. Destroy the AA batteries, but all the time maintain the right altitude to avoid being shot. Okay. Ooh, we got quite a distance on our Destroy rockets. The batteries. Target destroyed. Target. Ground 
Hostile target destroyed. Nice. Congratulations. You have finished this training mission. Okay. What's next? Transport. That sounds fun. Looks like it's the last helicopter mission as well. Oh. Evacuation. Evacuating soldiers from the danger zone is a difficult operation, requiring precise helicopter piloting. Find the evacuation zone. Follow the blue markers on the HUD or on the map in the cockpit. Let's go. Locate the soldiers' evacuation zone. Try to keep our altitude up and our speed up. Okay. That's pretty good. Going too fast now. Is it over here? Look out for the flare and the soldier. Land near the soldier and wait for him to board. I don't see a flare. Oh, Locate on the, the building there. Evacuation zone. Okay, we gotta slow down. Locate the soldier's evacuation zone. Look out for the flare and the soldier. Land near the soldier and wait for him to board. Slow it down. Okay. Land near the soldier and wait for him to board. We're down. Hopefully we didn't land on him. Target on board. Hey buddy. Head to evacuation zone. Let's get out of here. Evacuate the soldier to a safe zone. In this case, it's a ship. Locate it on the map or follow the blue marker. So locate the ship and land on it. Have a good mission. I understand. Black Ops can't tell me. Okay, we gotta lose some altitude here. Okay, let's slow it down. Land on the helipad. This is a difficult task. Stay focused. What helipad? And don't make oh, I see. Okay, slow it down. Gently land on the helipad. I'm working on it. Okay. Just slightly forward. Come on. There. Just need a little forward momentum. Okay, that's probably good. Pull it back, pull it back. Up a bit. Little forward. Almost there. Gently land on the helipad. Working on it. A little less radio chatter, please. Alright. 
Down we go. No sudden movements. Hovering just above the ground. Okay. Boom. Bit rough. Are we down? Disembarking. Congratulations. Sweet. Our soldier is safe. Well, there you go. We completed all of the helicopter training missions in Warplanes Air Corps. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you on the team. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video or of the game so far. And if you've played Warplanes Air Corps, leave your tips and tricks in the comments. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.